Today I'm going to be fixing the file permissions on the Xbox One external hard drive that stores my RetroArch ROMs, overlays, thumbnails, and system files. You may need to do this if you followed along with my other RetroArch on the Xbox One video and had a problem with the overlays not showing up. Shout out to Supertramp on Discord for troubleshooting this with me, and uh, before I get started, I've linked to Dominator01 and Gamer13's YouTube channels in the description for this video. Head over there for tutorial videos and troubleshooting tips if you run into any trouble with RetroArch on the Xbox in general. So let's get started. Plug your external hard drive into your PC. Don't attempt to do this with a map network drive if you've already copied the overlays and config files to your drive. It'll be too many small files and it'll take too long and it'll probably drop out halfway through. Open up the file explorer and navigate to my PC. Right click on the Xbox disk and select properties. Next, select the security tab and right at the bottom, click advanced for special permissions or advanced settings. Next to owner, click change. And then at the bottom of the select user or group window, click advanced. In the select user or group window, click the Find Now button and select the user All Application Packages from the list. Click OK to close the Select User or Group window. In the Advanced Security Settings window, check the box below Owner to replace Owner on subcontainers and objects. Also check the box at the bottom of the window to replace all child object permissions with inheritable permissions from this object. Next, select the All Applications Packages principle from the list and click the Edit button. In the Permission Entry window, select Full Control or ensure all the boxes in the Permissions column are checked. Click OK to close the window and then click Apply or OK to accept the changes. It will take quite a while to churn through all the files, but once it's done, your Xbox should have no problem accessing the files you've copied over. 